Okay guys, my 3D pen never had a long enough cord. So I'm going to lengthen it. Close window. Stop listening. Okay, these are some tiny little wires. What is this? Huh. Uh, 18 gauge? Huh. All right, I'm going to go with soldering it together, even though I've got a whole bunch of connectors. I think that soldering it will be the best in this instance, because the gauges of the wires I'm going to be connecting... Well, unless if I use a different gauge, I could... Hmm. Well, let me just go with soldering. Uh. Or should I? Shoot. I'm kind of tossed right now. Heck, I could even do spade connectors, actually. Ooh, I'm gonna do spade! No, because spade's meant to be disconnected. I'm gonna go with these crimp fittings. Close window. Stop listening. Okay. Um, I'm going to start with this side. Oh, that is nice. 
That'll hold. Wow. <laughs> Length and 3D pen cord, man. We're doing it. I put this on my to-do list in December of 2017, a full year ago. We finally are getting around to it. Oh, and you guys say I never get anything done. I just get it done a little later than you guys might expect. That's all. Doesn't mean never. Might take me a little while, but I get it done. You better believe it. I'm not... I feel like some people say, I'll get it down, done when I get around to it. And they don't ever intend to get around to it. And I think intentions are key. When I say I'm going to get around to it, I intend to. That's the difference. And I'm proving that right now with one project at a time. Alright, now that will never corrode because we taped it off with waterproof rubberized homemade tape made from adhesive transfer tape and nitrile rubber gloves. Super waterproof. Okay. <laughs> How long do I make it? Maybe this long. I don't want it so long that it becomes cumbersome, but... Because, I mean, at some point... You just use an extension cord, right? Ah, uh, you know what? I'll keep the long length. 
I'll take it all. Heck with it. That's how it should be. Nice and long, man. Super long. Well, if it's too long, though, we'll get enough amps. I equals V divided by R. We're adding resistance. Hmm, I better not, yeah, I better not go too crazy. I want to be able to work with the 3D pen anywhere around the room without unplugging it and moving it to a terminal, unless if it's like way across the room, but anywhere within my workspace would be ideal, I think. Using the 10 gauge on my strip master. Now I'm going to switch to my mini wire stripper. See if it works this time. Okay. These crimp fittings are the best thing ever. Love them. to determine which side's positive, which side's negative, and all that fun stuff. Okay. Luckily we marked it. Side toward me, the bottom is negative. All right, we got our negative here. You need to mark it. I'm lengthening the cord for my 3D pen while working out.
3D pen is a pen that emits molten plastic and you can actually sculpt in three dimensions with it. Instead of writing on paper, you draw with any colored plastic ink right into three dimensional space. It's great for building things. You can quickly fabricate models of any shape with a 3D pen and then from there you uh, can fiberglass it or whatever to make it strong or, or add epoxy putty to make it strong. 4D means it travels back in time, that makes no sense. All right, I don't know a lot about quantum mechanics because learning about that is a waste of time. There's no practical application to our present day state of things for a DIYer. That's all I care about is being able to make cool stuff that can actually benefit people now. And no I'm not going to build a quantum computer. I don't know of anybody doing that from their basement. And they're too big and impractical. Although, maybe they'd be good for training neural networks. I don't know, maybe I, maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe I will one day build a quantum computer. Maybe I should. Beautiful. Yeehaw. Time to paddle my bike. Paddle my bike. Yeah, I'm trying to exercise while I work. It's so efficient to do it that way. Well, nobody's built a humanoid robot that builds its own body after they built just one arm of it. And that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'll be the first in that regard. Can you imagine just building an arm and then that arm builds its own legs and other arm and head? I think that's impressive. And then it proceeds to build more robots. And it can walk and talk. And then those robots build the robots. So basically you just built an arm and then that arm netted you a result of a robot army. And that's what I'm proposing. That's how good my arm will be. I'd say if arm equals robot army, then that's a heck of an arm. That's just my opinion. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Crimp fittings are the best thing since sliced bread. Unlike solder fittings, which break, 
Solder fingers don't break if they're kept stationary, like inside a, a computer tower or something. But if you solder two wires together that are going to be moving all the time, like on an extension cord or something, that stuff will break. Straight up. I wrote down lengthen 3D pen cord on my to-do list in December 2017 and I'm finally getting to it. So I'm very relieved to have finally gotten around to this task that you see before you. It's so nice to get done to-do list items that are so old, so in need of attention and time. Um, no, my, my robot's going to run on Windows 10, or Windows 7 probably.